Welcome everybody to the webinar. This is Dave Gallagher. I'm going to be your host. Now, before we get started, we want to make sure that everybody can hear us. Can you put in the chat box, are you able to hear us and are you able to see the screen? Okay, fantastic. Well, we have with us a star of the real estate industry with us. It's uh, going to be Lou Brown. He's the king of cash flow, as you can see there on the screen. Now, Lou has over 40 years worth of, uh, worth of experience in the real estate investing industry. And the thing he's going to be talking to us about tonight is going to be about trust. So I know this is a topic that everybody has an interest in. I, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be certainly taking some notes. Before we get started, though, let's make sure that uh, our guest is on the line with us. Hey, uh, Lou, are you out there? I'm here, Dave. Fantastic. Well, I know everybody's chomping at the bit to get going here, and I know that they got their notepads ready to go. So you've got a lot of information to cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and hand it over to you, sir. All right. Thanks so much. I sure do appreciate it. Guys, I am so excited to share with you what I have experienced in my life now for uh, being in this game of buying, holding, and selling real estate now for over 40 years has been a real experience. I can tell you that. And along the way, I've learned a lot of things about protecting all that we create. So I am going to focus on that in today's web class. And I want to be sure and give you a lot of valuable information. So do be prepared to take notes. This is going to be interactive. We are going to really give you an opportunity to learn some things that I expect that you have never heard before in the arena of protecting your assets and some other things that you may not even be aware that you need to be aware of. So I'm going to spend some time on making sure that you get a lot of value out of today. So be sure and uh, kiss the spouse and, and uh, kids and everybody else, any other distractions that might be going on, uh, grab yourself a pencil uh, pen and be prepared to take some notes as we're together today, because this is something that's really going to make a big difference in how you look at your life, your business, your future, because what we're going to talk about today is something that's important to everyone. It's not just uh, someone here, or there. Uh, some people might be interested in real estate, but not interested in other things. And other people are interested in everything else except real estate. But today's topic is going to be something much more appropriate to everyone because everyone needs to learn about asset protection, probate avoidance, and putting yourself in a position to win. So that's, that's our focus. And I want to get started right away. So it may interest you to know that there's a lot of folks out there that uh, you may know and have learned from that have purchased my system. Some of you know Sherman Raglan from the DC area, Robert Sheeman, Alan Cowgill, Than Merrill and his partner, Paul Sajian, Dan Duran, uh, Richard Roop, uh, doesn't want her name used. How about Steve Jackson, Jeff Collar, Robin Thompson, T Tim Mai, Mark Jackson, Patrick Riddle, Gary Boomershine, Lee Parker, Ron Legrand, Albert Lowry, Duncan Weirman. How about Kathy Kennebrook, Mark Sumter, Curtis Brooks, Larry Goins, Jay Connor, Scott Shiel, Dave Lindahl, Preston Ely, Cameron Dunlap, Pat Martin, Jason Rodriguez, Lee Phillips, Luke Castillo, Bob Massey, and so many other folks, Bob Diamond, Bob Leonetti, lots of other folks that have purchased and invested in Lou Brown Systems. So just wanted you to be aware that there's other folks out there that have picked up these, these information over the years and have applied it in their business. And I think you'd agree with me that there's some very successful folks uh, that I've shared with you right there that have taken advantage of what I've been teaching them over the years and have been able to apply it to their businesses. 
So hopefully that's uh, inspiring to you to know that what you're learning from me today has been taken advantage of by some very successful folks in our industry and they've they teach an aspect of the business. They left me to teach you the business of the real estate business and particularly about this game of protecting all that you create and putting yourself in a position to do so. So that's what our focus is. They call me the king of cash flow because one of the things I've believed in for many years is to buy right, buy cheap, and then uh, create income off of what you've done uh, for many years to come, in some cases forever. Uh, so my claim to fame, of course, on cash flow and being the king of cash flow is to help you to build an amazing business that produces that kind of thing. Now, I want you to get yourself in a quiet place and put that phone on silent. Don't get distracted. I know sometimes when you're watching a web class, you might be also doing your emails and doing texts and doing other things. I really want you to get focused today because this class is going to be a game changer for you. And I promise there's going to be enough valuable information that really is going to make a difference for you that you'll want to pay attention. Now, you need to get a plan to get what you want. And that plan is that you need to have a proven money making business model. Business model that can change your life. Now, this business model <laughs> revolves around money. And as I was saying earlier, cash flow. So, one of the things we've got coming up also, and stay till the end because you're, we're going to give away not one, but two tickets to my upcoming Millionaire Jumpstart. I'm also going to be giving away a free book at the end. So do uh, stay tuned, pay attention, be prepared, make yourself a note, stay to the end because there's some valuable gifts that are coming up for you for sure. Now, there's three major focus areas of a successful real estate business, buying, holding and selling and protecting all that you create. And so our focus today is going to be on this protecting all that you create and this buying and holding and selling. That's what I'm going to be focused on for the three day training at Millionaire Jumpstart. But for today's web class, we're going to be focusing on this protection. So question number one, why this guy? Why should I pay any attention to this guy named Lou Brown? Well, I've been in a lot of different, uh, uh, stages with a lot of different famous people, uh, Brian Tracy, Tom Hopkins, Susie Orman, uh, Mark Victor Hansen, uh, Dan Kennedy, Bill Gates, and none other than our illustrious president, Donald Trump. So uh, there's lots of folks that uh, over the years I've been able to, uh, to share the stage with and and uh, share some things about our future. Uh, so it's been a fun ride to be able to teach folks how to be successful in this game called real estate. A little bit more about my background. Uh, I have been a volunteer in several things. I was the president, uh, vice president, president of the Real Estate Leadership Association of America, three-year board member. I took that organization and I transformed it into National RIA. I was the founding president of National RIA back in 1993. It is still an organization today that has over 40,000 members. Very proud of where that organization has grown to. I was also Vice President, President, and now President Emeritus of the Georgia Real Estate Investors Association, a nine-year board member there. And I was the founder and chairman of the Small Owners Council of the Apartment Association. So there's many things that I've done in our industry uh, that can give you a little bit of insight and uh, knowledge that, uh, hey, this is not my first rodeo and there, there's lots of folks. Uh, that I have learned from over the years and been able to support in our great industry. Tell you a little bit more about myself. Uh, my mom, Georgina, 
She was an amazing person on this planet. She's passed on, uh, but she really taught me a lot about life. Uh, she was a war bride. She came over to this country on the Queen Mary. She had met her American trooper husband. Everything was going to be fantastic. She got here and she learned well that he wasn't so great. Uh, and she found out that he was an alcoholic and an abuser and she had to get rid of him. And then she met my father, her second mistake. <laughs> so it ended up just being the two of us. And uh, we kind of raised each other and learned a lot about what life is like when you don't have any money and you have very little money. This is us together at an outing with the Georgia Real Estate Investors Association way back when, when I was the president back in 1990 of the Georgia Real Estate Investors Association. Going back farther, it shows you me in uh, one of our many vehicles. We would buy a new vehicle when the old one cost more to fix than it would be to get another one. And you can see how poor we were uh, the white wall on the back and the black wall on the front. That just gives you some idea of just how tough it was. I was raised in these wartime style apartments and it was really tough because our dining table was a Samsonite card table, not as nice as this one. You remember those metal chairs and uh, belly in the middle card table, bought that with S and H green stamps. If you remember back in the day, and some of you on here don't know what S&H green stamps are, but they used to give those with groceries and with gasoline. You got these stamps, you put them in books, you took the books to the redemption store and you got to walk out with stuff. <laughs> so we actually furnished our apartment with, uh, with stuff from an S&H green stamp store. So I just share that with you because it's really uh, interesting what can happen over a period of time, uh, being raised extremely poor without a father, without brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunts, or grandparents in this country, just being the two of us, what can happen over a period of time. So I'm very blessed that I discovered real estate. And it was because of this couple I call them Aunt Mabel and Uncle George. I didn't have any relatives, uh, so I just called my mom's friends, aunts and uncles, and they taught me some very valuable things. I remember when Aunt Mabel told me at the ripe old age of eight years old, she told me that they had bought the duplex that they live in. And she told me that the people on one side were paying enough money to cover the mortgage and that meant that they were living there for free. Now that was very impactful to me because here we were hiding out from the rent man and here she was living for free. And that's when I learned that there's parallel universes and the power of knowledge. Obviously Aunt Mabel had knowledge that my mother did not have. She had the ability to be able to leverage that knowledge into the ability to purchase this property and take over uh, or purchase it and get a loan from the bank and have the people on the other side pay enough money in rent to cover that mortgage. Well, sure enough, we came to visit the next year and she told me that she had bought the duplex next door. And she told me the people on one side paid enough money to cover the mortgage and the other money was theirs. And that was very impactful to this young kid uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, when she bought another one, again, on the same street. And sure enough, she bought a fourth one and a fifth one and another house. And it was amazing to watch them grow while they still lived there. And then one day she called me up and she said, come on over here and help me move. I said, move where? She said, a brand new house in a brand new subdivision, all brick home. And it was amazing what had happened in a short period of time, watching them grow in their, in their real estate business and watching them change. You know, Aunt Mabel didn't like to cook. And so she went out to the steakhouse almost every night, she and Uncle George. And it was just fascinating to watch their life. They went on cruises. They bought a new car every other year. It was fantastic. And then she told me at 18 years old, she said, you need to buy a house. 
And I said, buy a house? What are you talking about? She said, sure enough, I want you to meet my friend, Realtor Sue. And Realtor Sue comes over, picks me up at the apartments and takes me around. And I'm looking at houses like I'm going to buy one. Well, sure enough, I did at the age of 18, right before my birthday, we put that, I put that house under contract closed right after my birthday, 19 years old. I bought that first house. I asked my mom, would you like to move in and be my first tenant? She said, yes. Uh, she paid me a hundred dollars a month in rent. And I told her, you take the other 500. Our rent was $600 at the time. I said, you take the other 500 and put that towards your debt. A year and a half later, she was free and clear for the rest of her life. She had gotten tied up with a lot of loan sharks and was paying like 22% interest. And there was no end in sight. And just that little shift and change in our life gave her the opportunity to go free and clear. It was a great gift that I could give her given that she had made so, so many sacrifices for me. And I really learned a lot of valuable things that number one, I could buy a house at such a young age. Now I did, I only went to college for one year and I learned, and it was in fact on a scholarship and I learned that I could do a lot more if I invested my time differently. And so I dropped out of college after one year and went on to build an amazing life uh, without ever going back to college. It's kind of an interesting process that I went through there. But what was really interesting that happened to me with this particular property is that I was able to buy this house. I went back to Charlotte after all these years and I went back and found out that the house was still there. I was able to buy this house by taking over the existing financing on the property. Now, back in the day, you could do a thing called NENQ loans, non-escalating, non-qualifying loans. You could step in for $45 and take over somebody else's financing. You didn't have to go to the bank. You didn't have to qualify for a loan. It was an awesome thing. And then, of course, they changed the law in 1982 and took that away from us. But I'm going to show you something on today's class that will show you that you can continue to do exactly what I did back in the day. And what was so different was Aunt Mabel went to banks and qualified for loans to buy her real estate portfolio. And ladies and gentlemen, I have never been to the bank and I've never qualified for a loan on a single family or small multifamily property in my life. And the reason is I found out this amazing thing that I'm sharing with you today. And it is something that will make a huge difference in your future and how you look at your future because of the fact that you do not have to go to the banks and you do not have to qualify for loans. So I have a lot to thank uh, God for uh, in showing me this amazing thing called real estate. And sure enough, uh, my uh, Aunt Mabel, in showing me that the possibility existed and encouraging me and mentoring me in buying my first property when I was 18 years old. And to, today I'm going to share with you some things that I hope are going to cause a lot of yeah babies. <laughs> so every time you hear something you love today, I just want you to say yeah baby <laughs> and uh, just yell it out from where you are. Now question number two, now you know a little bit about my background. My next question is, do you have a proven money protection model, a money protection model? Now you might know about things called LLCs, corporations, limited partnerships. We're going to talk about another money protection model today. And I'm going to start it with the something that everybody knows about, and it's the game of Monopoly. I'm sure you've played it. One of the things I loved as a broke kid was that everybody started at go. Everybody started with the same amount of money. Everybody had the same risk, and it was all driven by where you landed on the board. Well, to get off a of go, first thing you had to do was roll the dice, but a lot of people are afraid to roll the dice. A lot of people are afraid because Fear stops things. And you might have a fear in your life that you're going to turn up the lose everything card. 
Well, we're going to make sure today that you have all the information you need to make sure that you do not lose everything. Now there's major areas of a successful asset protection plan. Earlier I was talking about the three major areas of a successful real estate business. Now I want to talk about the major areas of a successful asset protection plan. And one thing we want to do is avoid a thing called probate. Probate can be a setback to a family. It can cost a lot of time, money, and confusion. Another is privacy. People say privacy is dead in America. Well, that's not entirely true based upon something I'm going to teach you today. And another thing is protection. So these areas of asset protection should, whatever you do, should have these things as part of it. And I'm going to add a fourth one, and that is profits. It may, imagine that an entity can also produce profits, but in this case, it will. The plan for you to have what you want is cash now, cash flow later, and cash forever. How about that? Cash now, cash flow, and cash forever. Is that a yeah, baby? <laughs> I hope so, because what I'm going to show you is really powerful, and it's something that will make a big difference in your future, and a lot more of those Ben Franklins hanging out in your world. So my company is called Street Smart. We have real estate systems helping thousands earn millions, and we've been helping people since 1992 to build amazing multi-million dollar real estate businesses. And one of the aspects of what I teach is protecting all that you create. So the big piles of money come from protecting yourself from having it happen to you. Ask yourself, can this happen to me? Could I be forced to throw away millions. So we take a look at the different headlines that are out there and you've probably seen some or all of these headlines uh, in, your, in your process of learning and seeing things, outrageous lawsuits, are they contagious, uh, donut tosser, battered uh, a bystander and all of a sudden somebody sues, injured diver gets $2 million, car crash victim settles for 1.1 million. I'm sure you saw this one, a $2 million paint job. In fact, you know, you think about all the things that can happen in your world. You may have heard about this $4.3 million in damages given to a criminal, $4 million in water slide mishap. Barry and jury want awards 3.1 million in crash suit, 4 million liability award largest in county history. And you've probably heard this one, local woman wins $2.9 million over burning hot coffee. And, and it was the McDonald's lawsuit. Just imagine the coffee was hot. Okay, <laughs> let's just start there. The coffee was hot, geez. And uh, she sues and wins. So one of the things we have to recognize in business is that anything can happen and somebody suing you can open a door that you might not be able to close all the way if you had not properly planned for an incident such as this happening in your life. The possibility absolutely exists and it's something we need to be aware of uh, so that we can prevent it. And yes, this is preventable and curable if you haven't done it. But that's not all. You have to worry about some people who try to profit by using the flawed legal system. And you may have seen some stories about that. There's lots of them all over the internet. Uh, here's one case study I'll share with you. One thing to say about Ms. McComb is she sues people. California court is mulling whether now to quiet her as a vexatious litigant. Why? Because over the years, Ms. McComb, a one-time actress with a law degree, is that a dangerous combination? 
<laughs> has filed nearly 50 lawsuits against her neighbors, tenants, department stores, and others for all manner of injury. Now, this article goes on to say that Ms. McComb has not only been involved in 50 uh, lawsuits, but nine automobile accidents. Have you ever heard about these people that slam on the brakes, allow you to run into them, and then they sue you for running into them? Well, I don't know if that's true about this lady, but she's been involved in nine automobile accidents. She was also involved in three slip and fall incidents in department stores in San Francisco. So just imagine, you know, somebody finds some water, maybe creates some water, slips and falls, and boom, they sue the department store. And what she's looking for is she's looking for some kind of settlement. She's looking for some kind of payout that can help her uh, and, and, get, and hurt whoever it is that it happened to. So she even sued her neighbor over the sound of a bouncing basketball and got a $5,000 nuisance settlement. So these are also the kind of people, this is a case study just to let you know, that we want to protect ourselves against people like this as well. So while you may do everything right, and while you may be righteous in everything you do, just know that there's people like this out there that we should absolutely protect ourselves against and plan uh, in advance to protect ourselves against. We sue at the drop of a dime, litigious Americans. One thing you need to know is there's 82,000 lawsuits filed in America every day. Now that's a pretty it's a frightening thing, isn't it? And one thing that happens is because we have all these attorneys. Now in other countries, if you're going to sue somebody, that's a very serious matter. And in fact, their laws say that if you sue somebody and they win, you have to pay not only your legal fees, you have to pay their legal fees too. So in other countries, it's very unusual for somebody to sue. Well, in our country, that's not true. And so guess what? It's usual for people to sue. Plus, our legislatures, state and federal legislatures, are guess what? Made up of a whole bunch of attorneys looking to protect other attorneys. Uh, so just know that we're kind of uh, behind the eight ball in this country, and it's something that we need to be aware of and plan for. So you think you can't? it can't happen to you. They did too. Do nothing and you will join these business owners uh, who were forced to throw away millions that could have been avoided. You see, that's my message for you today. This can all be avoided if you do certain things. So we're back to your fear that yes, indeed, you could be in a position to lose everything if you don't plan accordingly. So don't lose everything, kill that fear by doing exactly what I'm gonna share with you today, the street smart solution. The street smart solution is a one word to describe your success in business and that is survival. If you survive long enough in business, particularly the real estate business, you cannot help but win. I'm a testimony to that. I have helped so many people for so many years. I've been a teacher since 1987, teaching other people to build amazing real estate businesses like my own. In fact, uh, I have people duplicate and Xerox copy our business so they can build one like ours. And I love helping entrepreneurs to do that. And one of the messages I always give is, if you can just survive long enough, you can absolutely win. So one of the ways we're going to survive is to learn the magic of trusts. And I call it the magic because most people don't know about it. In fact, most attorneys don't talk about it. They don't encourage people to do it, mainly because they've never learned about it themselves. They don't encourage people because they don't know themselves just the many benefits of trust. So I'm going to cover for you today 
some of those amazing benefits and you'll you'll understand better just how important this is uh, you know i love albert einstein says intellectuals solve problems geniuses prevent them now think about that some people just wait for problems to come along and they might be smart enough to solve them but the real smart people actually in advance plan for the worst prevent the problem before it occurs great message from albert einstein so about the benefits of trusts now there's a particular kind of trust i want to share with you and uh, this is what we call a land trust. I'm also going to be talking about personal property trusts. Now, trusts are a very different kind of entity. So you may have uh, and already have done an LLC or corporation or a limited partnership or all three, and you may not have done trusts. Maybe you've heard of living trusts and you maybe you even have a living trust, but the trusts I'm talking about today are different kind of trust because it can do some different things. Now there's about 30 different kinds of trusts out there. So don't get this one confused with other types of trust. This trust can do some things that other trusts cannot do. One of the great benefits of a land trust is that you can name the trust anything you choose. Now think about this. Let's say that you have 10 pieces of real estate and you say to your attorney, well, I want to be protected. Your attorney says, well, let's create a LLC and then you can put all your real estate in that LLC. Or let's say you're just getting started and you create an LLC and you buy your real estate into the LLC. Well, what you've just done is you've put all of your eggs in one basket. So that means why would anybody bother suing you? You see what an LLC is, it's a limited liability company. Now the liability is against you personally. <laughs> Think about that. So the limit is against you personally, but it's not against your assets. So if you've put those 10 properties in one LLC, guess what? You just made a sitting target. Why would anybody bother to sue you when they can sue the entity that's holding all of the assets? <laughs> so and when you think about it, the real game should be to divide and conquer, divide and conquer. Now, the way we do that is through privacy of ownership. Now our land trust allows us to name each trust a different thing. Now let's say for example that you have a living trust. Well it's probably your family name living trust or your last name trust. Uh, and what does that do? Well that certainly doesn't provide any privacy does it? Now for real estate, we have a particularly challenging thing when it comes to privacy because the ownership of our property is published on public record. And in fact, somebody sitting at a computer could type in your name and find all of the real estate that's in your name in a particular county or in a state and or in the United States as well. Now, what if we had something else. What if we could have each of those 10 properties in their own trust with a different name? Each property has its own trust with its own name. Now, let's think strategically. What if the name of the trust was like the Sister Mary Francis Trust? Well, what does somebody think when they look up an address of a property they find that it's owned by the Sister Mary Francis Trust. Well, who wants to sue the nuns, right? Nobody wants to sue the nuns. So look at the opportunity here that by being able, just through naming strategies, it could throw someone off the scent. It could make them not know 
exactly who the owner is. Well, that's one of the beauties of a land trust is you can name it anything you choose. Now, you don't want to name it a trademark like the Coca-Cola Trust or something like that, but you can name it something that's innocuous like the Smith Street Preservation Trust. So we've got many things. How about the Native American Youth Trust? <laughs> Who wants to mess with the Indians, right? It was stolen from them in the first place. Don't wake them up, <laughs> leave them alone. So this is the thing that all of us have to be aware of is that there are ways that we can strategically create privacy. Now I've got a lot of different benefits and each one of these, I go deep dive uh, in my system, but I want you to get as much information as you can from the training today. So I'm going to move on to the next thing and that is transactional privacy. Now think about this. Let's say that you do a hundred properties over the next year. What if nobody knew that you had done a hundred transactions in the next year? That would be a wonderful thing to have. And that would be privacy of transactions. If somebody's coming after you, they can't find all of the properties that you own. I've got so many things that we have designed over the years that can set you up for protection too. So where can I get that? Well, it's this amazing little known yet wildly powerful thing called land trusts. And uh, it's volume four of my real estate system. And another thing called personal property trusts. Now land trusts is for real estate, personal property trusts for everything else. So we're going to focus on these land trusts and personal property trusts as providing amazing strategy for your future far beyond an LLC, a corporation or a limited partnership. And it's something that you can do yourself with the proper documents. You can prepare all of these yourself and it's an amazing thing. So how to hold title, it gives privacy, protection, probate, avoidance, and profits. How powerful is that? Privacy, protection, probate, avoidance, and profits. I call it the four P's of the land trust. Now, what can go into land trusts? Well, houses can go into it. How about apartments and condos? How about hotels? How about land? By the way, I'm showing you some uh, of our properties that over the years, look at there, there's one uh, that was a development that uh, a trust uh, purchased and owned. And another one, lots can go into trust. You see, there's so many different opportunities. <laughs> So far, do you love land trusts? I'm hoping so. Now, by the way, um, in your chat box there, put some questions in there. We love it. We want to be able to help everyone. We're going to be able to reach out uh, to you and answer any questions as we go. Now, how to hold title gives privacy, protection, probate avoidance, and profits. Now we have this other player uh, and it's called the personal property trust. So we got the land trust for real estate. We got personal property trust for everything else in your life. The, joining the idea of estate planning as you go. I call it estate planning as you go because as you acquire assets, you can literally set up a separate trust for each one of those assets. So we go and deal with the ones that you currently have and help you to get those moved into trust. And then as you acquire new assets, you just create a new trust for each one. Separate and segregate your assets into separate part pockets so that they cannot contaminate one another. If there was a lawsuit on one, it would not slop over into the other. Why? Because the ownership of that one asset is separate and apart from the ownership of the other asset. So how to protect bank accounts? 
What about you won't even need a bank account after we're done? Uh, your trust can have its own bank account, vehicles, stocks, bonds, and a lot more. Now we think about stocks. Yes, your stock, your brokerage account, individual stock certificates can be held in trust. Bonds can be held in trust. Even individual bonds can be held in trust. Your bank account can be in trust. Your certificates of deposit, CDs, CDUs, <laughs> mobile homes, motor homes, gun collections, <laughs> here's, a, here's another mobile home. Even airplanes, gun collections in a separate trust apart from the other, coin collections. So just imagine that everything in your life can be separately held in separate trusts. Now I'm gonna show you another benefit of trusts as we go along that you're really gonna love. So that personal property trust becomes a key element. So land trust is for real estate. If it has a legal description, it goes into a land trust. If it has any other items, notes, for example, anything else, those are in personal property trusts. So here's how it works. You take a piece of real estate and we're gonna deed that real estate out of your name or out of the entity name into this trust. And you're gonna do this yourself. And I'm gonna give you some advice on how to have a local attorney review your documents. It's, it's very simple and very easy for you to be able to implement because I've created it into a step-by-step -step process, making it very simple and easy for you to listen to the CDs and implement it right there on your computer uh, by creating the documents yourself. Now, one of the things that once you put your property into trust, you name someone other than yourself as the trustee. Now, why would you name someone else? Well, that's one of the great benefits of trusts. If anything happens to you, guess what? Your trustee passes it on to the heirs that you have selected inside the trust. So in the trust documents, you're actually going to state who is to get what. So number one, we start with you. You become the primary beneficiary, and then after you, there's a successor beneficiary. Now in the case of the land trust, there's something very unique. Real estate is usually a very hard asset, right? You put it into a trust and what happens is this particular thing called a land trust converts real estate into personal property interests. So what that means is instead of you owning the real estate, what you own is a beneficial interest in a trust. Well, what if the beneficiary of the land trust was actually a personal property trust. Since the interests of the land trust are personal property, imagine that we now can have a personal property trust as the beneficiary. How powerful is that? And imagine that we can do that with each one of your different assets. So what would happen is if somebody sued this trust, they would want to find out who the beneficiary of that trust is. Well, guess what they find after they spent a whole bunch of money finding it out is they find that the beneficiary of the trust is actually another trust with a different trustee. So we're going to step you through this process. It's pretty amazing. Now, what other benefits do trusts offer? By the way, if you're loving what I'm sharing with you today, just go to your chat box, go to your questions box and say, yeah, baby, this is good stuff. Loving it. All right. So what other benefits do trusts offer? I've got a bunch of them, so get ready. All right. So we talked about privacy of ownership, transactional privacy. How about government has limited control? That means that, hey, if they were coming after you on housing code violations, by the way, not to say that we have crappy properties, we don't. We take very good care of our properties, but guess what? If you have the hole in the screen, 
the size of a quarter, that is a housing code violation. Well, one of the things they do is they look up other properties that you own and they make you a target so they can get fees out of you. Well, what if all your properties are in separate trusts? So that can create some additional opportunity for you there to protect yourself. Now, another thing that's great is trusts have no relationship with state government. In other words, trusts got here, <laughs> trust came over on the Mayflower. Trusts have been here for eons. In fact, they, they've been in the world uh, since about 51 BC. Uh, they've been here through Roman times. Uh, through uh, the birth of Jesus. <laughs> They've been here for a long time. Now, uh, what happens is that because trusts are foundational to our entire country, they're foundational to, did you know that our, our country is actually in a trust and our country is a trust? Uh, there's so many things that they have kept from you that you really need to learn. You're gonna find some amazing things. It's one of the best kept secrets. And guess what? All the elites have trusts. All the elites have trust. The good news is in this country, it's not separated. In other words, if somebody else can have it, you can too. It just happens to be that they hired the right attorneys that know about these things and you might not have ever heard about it because your attorney doesn't know about it or doesn't see the benefit or value in it. Now, when I say no relationship with state government, well, states can pass administrative requirements for their particular state. However, no state will ever outlaw trusts. And the reason is that state, that trusts are a contract and the very foundation of our law is contract law. Now, what's interesting is that the contract is between the trustee of the trust and the beneficiary of the trust. So inside that contract, which is called the Declaration of Trust and Land Trust Agreement, inside there are very distinct uh, uh, steps that have to be taken and followed in order to make that trust valid. Well, that cannot be construed by the state against you. In other words, the trust gets here first, very powerful. Now, do you believe that this provides some asset protection? I hope you do because it's really powerful and amazing. Now, another thing that can happen is, let's say that someone got a judgment against you personally. Uh, something happened, there was an automobile accident, something, somebody got a judgment against you personally. Well, if you don't own anything in your name, it would be very difficult for them to collect judgments and liens against you if you don't own anything. So that's, that's why I say use your name freely because if somebody gets a judgment against you, going to be very difficult for them to collect on that judgment. All right. Wow. Are you saying wow right now? I hope you are. Now there's over 30 different benefits of trusts, 30 different benefits of these trusts that you cannot get with any other entity, not with a corporation, not with an LLC, not with a limited partnership. You can only get these with trusts. How great is that? Yeah, baby. That's good stuff. Now, Let's say that you have multiple properties. Well, we're gonna go on with this strategy by saying, all right, so the next property, we're gonna put that in a different named trust and a different even trustee if you choose. So you can see how powerful this is and we've developed properties, we've purchased properties, we've done all kinds of different things through these amazing things called trusts. And so you just continue the effort and with this wonderful thing called uh, search and replace, uh, it's easy for you to create one trust and simply change the name, press print, and you've got another trust. Press print, and you've got another trust. I'm actually gonna show you today how you can get the documents that allows you to be able to learn this and do this yourself. How cool is that? Now, once you put your property in trust, 
then you are going to notify your residents. Let's say you have rental properties. You're going to notify your residents that the rent is going to be paid to you, comma, as agent. And now we're going to set up a personal property trust bank account. So we're going to use that personal property trust to open a bank account. And what happens is all your various rentals get deposited into this trust bank account. Now, what's cool about this is that that trust is named something different than your land trusts. So in other words, if any money gets deposited to this account, well, this account never does any business. All it does is process money. Uh, it writes checks. It writes checks for property taxes, for insurance, for repairs, anything related to the property it writes checks for, and the leftover money goes to guess who? The beneficiary, whomever the beneficiary might be. So in our scenario here, the beneficiary, guess what? Can be you, or it could be an LLC or a corporation, or it could be a living trust, and even each separate trust could have a different structure of beneficial interest. So what happens is we're going to call this the management trust. The management trust collects the rents, the management trust pays the bills, and the management trust takes the profit and distributes the profit to whomever the beneficiary is of each of the trusts. Now, if you have an LLC as the beneficiary of the trust, by the way, if you have an LLC, you can keep your LLC. <laughs> you can just make it the beneficiary of the trust rather than the holder of the deed. A much more powerful place to put your LLC is below the waterline. Now, we're going to call this first tier here the waterline. And if you've ever looked underwater, you, you look across the top of the water and you don't see anything. You look below the water and you see all these fish and everything swimming around. Well, let's call this the waterline. The only thing that's above the waterline is the house itself, the deed in a name of a trust. Below the waterline is who the beneficiary is. Well, that's not published anywhere. That's not on public record anywhere. The only two people that know who the beneficiary of this land trust is, is the trustee and the beneficiary, whomever the beneficiary is. Now, this sets up a very powerful uh, scenario in that if anybody was going to sue any individual trust here, well, they wouldn't get at the money because the money's over here in a different separate bank account that does no business. It doesn't hire people. It doesn't hire contractors. It doesn't enter into agreements. It doesn't uh, sign up tenants. It doesn't do anything like that. It just processes money. That's all this management account does. Now, if you're loving that, just say, yeah, baby, that's good stuff. I mean, that's unlike anything you've probably ever seen. And it's because over the years, I've really learned how to do this. Now, when you think about how this scenario can play out, this is for your flipper properties. This is for your keeper properties. So if you flip property, that can go into that bank account that I just described. Your rents can go into that bank account and all of the money comes down. If you want to have an LLC or corporation, you can. It can be the beneficiary, but it's optional. It's not even required. And then your final beneficiary can be your living trust. We can even get into some deeper trust strategies as the final trust. Uh, but I want to get you centered and in privacy and asset protection mode so we can at least get the things out of your personal name. If you're sitting there right now with assets in your own name, and yes, I'm including your personal residence, anything in your own name, you're a sitting duck. Plus, there's some other benefits that you'll see in just a minute that you'll know that trust is the only way to go uh, as you are learning to really set yourself up for privacy protection, probate avoidance. So why don't we talk about probate avoidance now? Now, probate 
is the process by which an asset is taken from <laughs> the, the cold dead hands of someone who passes away with assets in their name they are still in their name until the probate court takes it out of their name and puts it into the name of the rightful living heirs well there's a problem isn't it now first of all that can be time consuming it can take months and years for that process to take place and if you've ever lived through any kind of probate, you know what I'm talking about. It can also be expensive, hiring attorneys, uh, paying them fees, sometimes a percentage of the estate to manage the probate process. And then sometimes it's also the place that families fall apart, where there's infighting, there's squabbling, there's people that say, you're, you're about to get one more morsel of corn than I was getting. And you know, they're, they're, they're suspicious and there's all these things going on in families. What if you took that away from your family? What if you gave them the gift that they will never have to deal with probate? What if your parents gave you that gift? If your parents are still living, this is a very powerful gift I'm helping you with right now because you yourself can avoid dealing with probate from your own family. Now, your family, let's say your children, your grandchildren, what a, wouldn't it be great if you went ahead and put things in trust and actually named who the beneficiaries are? That's exactly what you can do when you uh, avoid probate. Now, take a look at this one. This is Judy. She sent me this letter back in the year 2000. Shows you how long I've been teaching this stuff, actually since 1987, 86, actually since I've been teaching trusts. It says, hi Lou, we, we purchased the whole enchilada at the Legrand Boot Camp in Las Vegas, started using it a couple of weeks later. It's been great. I discussed estate planning with my parents and they told me they had a living trust. So we decided to create land trusts for their properties. Long and short of it, I asked to see their deeds and living trust. I am the only heir and they had a living will only. In other words, they, they had something that said what happens to them, their bodies, uh, it, whether it you turn the machine on or not, or distribute their bodies for body parts. But what they did not do is have a living trust. So she got really nervous. She says, I spent that night creating the documents, living trust, etc., and they signed the documents the next day. And I walked them to the recorder's office. I didn't sleep well that night knowing the situation. They are 78 and 80 years of age and things happen. She says, the whole enchilada has saved us many hours of grief. Losing a parent will be difficult, but probate will only add to the problem. It was wonderful having the CD to quickly prepare the documents. So you can see just how powerful this is. She took advantage of this. She did it herself. She got it done. The next day she got it done and got everything transferred. She didn't have to worry anymore about what might happen with her parents. Now you need to think the same thing. Anything might happen at any time. The time to do this is when? Right now. The time to do this is to take care of business. Now this works for old money and this works for new money too. So it doesn't matter where your money comes from. If you've only got a bank account right now and you haven't even acquired any assets, it works for you. If you have a vehicle, it works for you. If you have just your single family residence, it works for you. Uh, so anyone, regardless of the size of their estate, it can work for. Now, will this work here, meaning your location? Well, here's what happened to Phil. He says, I bought the whole enchilada from one of your seminars several months ago when you were in the Philadelphia or area. I read your course from cover to cover. I'm sorry to report. I love the whole enchilada. He, he uh, fell in love with it. He says, you ask your students to keep in touch. I just wanted to say, I'm so glad a friend of mine told me to get your course. 
I was afraid to spend that much money, but as they say, one deal can pay for good course material. One of the things you said is sometimes you have to be a pioneer to bring in concepts that work elsewhere, but not in your area as yet. I did, and now everyone wants to know how I did it. To give you the details, I took a house subject to, now remember earlier I was talking about taking over existing financing, here's what he's talking about. I took it subject to the existing loan, put it in a trust, as you taught me in your course. Everyone here in Pennsylvania told me that I couldn't do what I did and land trusts don't work in Pennsylvania. He's being smirky here. He says, well, I guess they were right. But he goes on to say, I took that house subject to in a trust. My cost was $30 for notary fee, $60 to record the deed. After the rehab, I left the settlement table with over $49,000 in my pocket. This has allowed me to buy three houses that I'm keeping for rentals, or should I say lease option, rent to own, another great concept I learned from your course. My new buyers just love the houses and the concept of home ownership through lease options, contract for D. Lou, thanks for a great seminar, great set of course materials. I will always be a fan and grateful. And not only that, Phil went on to become the president of the uh, Philadelphia Dig, uh, over 1,200 members uh, in, in their local market. So know that other folks have been there and done that. I've got licensees of my system now in all 50 states and they've reported really great success. Sometimes we have to make tweaks here and there from state to state, but generally speaking, you're gonna have no problem being able to use them. Here's what happened to Steven. He says, uh, your, your course materials helped me in so many ways. I don't know where to begin thanking you. Felt the most important thing your course taught me is how to put my properties in trust and start some basic asset protection. Very rewarding learning how to do trust in Pennsylvania because countless professionals, including lawyers and experienced real estate investors told me it was impossible, illegal or immoral to put property in trust. I proved them all wrong with your course. It was easy as eating pie. And then he goes on to talk about how he followed my system and was able to uh, lease option a property, got $5,000 in non-refundable lease option consideration, $200 per month above the highest rents in town, total of $7,400 for the first house in the first year. People told me I was crazy for spending so much money on a real estate course. Yeah crazy like a fox. Uh, so that's the fun that we have. And just showing other folks, I get such a thrill out of having people not only uh, invest in my system, but use the system and get these great benefits from it. And hopefully you'll become one of those folks tonight too. So yeah, but will this work for me? Well, let's see. I'm going to make sure it works for you because I'm going to give you some support in making sure that it works. Number one, we're going to have an upcoming millionaire jumpstart. Now this is a three day training. By the way, I'm not done with all the benefits of trust yet. I've still got some more to cover. Uh, and, and if you want more, say, yeah, baby, or say uh, more, just type in more in your uh, box and let me know that you want some more training tonight. And let me know if you're liking this. All right, so uh, the Billionaire Jumpstart is a three-day training that I do about every three months, and you are welcome to come bring your spouse, bring your significant other. We're actually gonna do some of these trust documents while we're together, but we're also gonna learn about buying right and buying cheap. We're gonna learn about creating income to get out of the job. We're gonna learn about using tax benefits to help you legally reduce your taxes forever. We're going to talk about creating retirement accelerators. We're going to talk about paying down and paying off mortgages. We're going to talk about profit centers where we increase and accelerate your cash flows, putting even more money in your pocket, creating more income to get out of the job even sooner. And yes, we're going to talk about probate, avoidance, asset protection, and uh, not getting yourself in a position of losing everything you've got. So everyone that joins us today, you are going to get to an invitation to come to the Millionaire Jumpstart 
as well. It comes with a special manual and it comes with special documents that I've developed over my 40 plus years of being in this business of buying, holding and selling property. So you're going to get those documents as well. So that is a bonus that I'm going to give to you uh, today as well. Let me share with you about Antoine, another case study. Hey Lou, just wanted to let you know how great your trust system is. Because of your system, I was able to purchase four properties in a land trust and have step-by-step -step directions from your system on how to get the EIN number and open up a trust bank account too. This was the best system by far, giving you each step along the way. I also used your buying, selling and holding course to get owner financing from the seller. Now have four properties bringing in $1,900 a month in income. Thanks Lou, PS, yeah baby. Antoine Stanley from Fayetteville, North Carolina. So that's another yeah baby. We love the process of, of uh, showing people the right way to go. Antoine is also the president of their local group there. And here's house number one that he bought, all four in a package from that seller and using the techniques of owner financing, seller financing that I taught him, he was able to get some zero interest financing from the seller, pretty cool, and a $1,900 a month cash flow. Now that is also available to you because not only am I gonna teach you about trusts, I'm gonna teach you about how to parlay your wealth in an amazing way that we've been able to generate over many years of being in this business. Love to show other people what we do and how we do it. And so just imagine that I bought this house in Charlotte, North Carolina without using the bank. And to this day, you can too. So that's another part of what I'm showing you today. There is lots of money in using trusts for your income as well. All right, now some things that you're gonna learn at the Jumpstart training is trusts not only protect assets and plan your estate, they can make money too. How to assign a non-assignable contract. How to never go to banks again. Use this little known technique to buy properties using existing financing on the property. You don't have to go to banks. You don't have to qualify for loans borrow money using trust. Yes, a trust can be allowed to borrow money. In fact, it's covered in my trust system, volume four. I cover, called, it's called financing and the land trust. And if you have an existing trust, there could be huge holes in it. I've identified about 12 different things that other trust documents do not have. And I've definitely tutored and trained people over many, many years and discovered when they bring me other people's documents, just how flawed they really are. So we've developed a very sound and very airtight system that really supports being able to do this the right way. How to set up a bank account in trust for privacy and asset protection. Asset protection secrets, even your attorney doesn't know. Protecting your IRA and 401k using trusts. How trusts can double credit partner value. How to have partner without partnering. <laughs> and uh, bulletproof creditor protection. So obviously there's a lot of things that the system is gonna teach you and that the live training is gonna teach you as well. Uh, so I wanted to just kind of give you that overview of what I'm including in the training that I'm gonna share with you today. So you'll also get paperwork training at the Millionaire Jumpstart. And we're actually gonna transfer a property into trust there at the training. So you'll get to see exactly how to do it. Now this is, a uh, guaranteed, baby, it's guaranteed. If you're not 100% happy with uh, everything that you've gotten from me, it's a money back guarantee. That's what we believe in. And we have many licensees around the country that have adopted our system and adopted our plan and, uh, and love what we're doing. We have a nationwide brand called Certified Affordable Housing Provider. I'm going to let you in on that as well. It's a lot of fun.
So back to Albert Einstein, he says intellectuals solve problems and geniuses prevent them. So that's what we're going to do. It's the street smart way. Beware of bad or incomplete paperwork as some other trusts have. So if you have invested in others, well, it might not be exactly what you need. So again, I'm going to give you more training at the Millionaire Jumpstart. Now, another thing, Another benefit, there's no separate tax returns as with other entities, LLCs, corporations, limited partnerships, you got to do a separate tax return on each one of those entities, not these trusts. The IRS considers these to be a grantor trust and they're established under certain guidelines. It's a simple trust and therefore no separate tax return, only the beneficiary files a tax return. Ability to take title subject to existing loans safely. This is what I referred to earlier about the profits part, the profits P of the land trust is that you can take over existing financing on property. How cool is that, that you can step in and literally a seller can sell or transfer their property into a trust that you happen to have the paperwork for. They transfer their property into a trust and there's something amazing that you may not be aware of, but the lender is prohibited from calling the loan due. I'm going to talk to you about that. Ease of transfer. You could literally just transfer the beneficial interest in a trust and leave the property in trust. It's an easy trust to start once you do the paperwork. And by the way, I give you step-by-step -step and all filled in versions of the form so you can see exactly what goes where. It's an easy entity to operate. You, you're never in the chain of title, or if you are in the chain of title, we're gonna get you out of that as fast as possible by putting a new link on that chain, uh, chain transferring it from you into the trust. There's control without ownership. So literally the beneficiary tells the trustee what to do. The trustee cannot act without the beneficiary telling the trustee what to do. You see, you control all of that and more. Remember I said there's about 30 different benefits of trust. It's a lot of stuff. What if you could make money with these trusts? So back to you can make money with it. You can take over payments on existing mortgages. That subject to thing I told you about. Look at there, section 1701J-3A1D8, buried way down in the law. There is a pre preemption of the due on sale prohibitions. So you may be aware that in your, uh, mortgage that you have on your home, that there is a statement in there that usually paragraph 17 says that you cannot transfer that mortgage with, or you cannot transfer the deed to the property without that mortgage being paid off, except when you place the property in trust. So the exemption is a lender may not exercise its option pursuant to a due on sale clause upon a transfer into an inter vivos trust. Guess what kind of trust a land trust is? It's an inter vivos type trust. So what we do is assist the seller in placing their property into their trust and then they assign and quit claim their beneficial interest in that trust. Remember, that's not published anywhere. They assign and quit claim that too. Guess what? Your personal property trust. I'm going to be teaching you that uh, at the Millionaire Jumpstart as well. And by the way, it's in the trust system that I'm going to be sharing with you in just a moment. Uh, that trust system on page 148 is all the stuff about buying property subject to the existing loan. Yeah, but really, will this work for me? Well, here's what happened to Stefan. He paid attention to what I had to say. He says, today was a big day using the forms method you teach in your course. I bought three houses in one day, not one, not two, but three. Better yet, in each case, the seller sold me the property subject to the existing mortgage balances, forms of street smart buying, selling, and holding, did all the negotiating for me. It was as easy as filling in the blanks. These deals mean over $80,000 in instant equity and profits not to mention the cash infusions, monthly positive cash flow, magic of speeding up how quickly these homes will be free and clear in the years ahead by prepaying principal the way you teach. And then listen, there's, uh, there's Stefan uh, and 
it was so great because he got the whole enchilada. He learned how to do the business. He did the trusts. He did what I told him to do. He bought this house. You like that house? He bought that house for $10. Yes, I teach you about $10 houses. <laughs> and here's how what he was able to do. Stunning new home, original owner, one year old, four bedroom, two and a half bath, three car garage, 2,415 square feet, motivated sellers overwhelmed by the payments agreed to deed the property subject to existing mortgage balances did not expect or want any cash he took over a first mortgage and a second mortgage he says exit strategy sell owner financing down payment auction agree to sell to the highest bidder here's house number two motivated seller agreed to sell the property for mortgage balance in other words another ten dollar house Property in an area plans to be zoned historic properties, two bedroom, one bath with one car garage with a one bedroom, one bath guest house currently rented below market at $300 a month. Yes, he paid $10 for that. Submitted by three year stark raving whole enchilada owners to find Cassia. Uh, then he goes on. This is house number three. Motivated seller contacted us from our ad house in Four bedroom, two and a half bath, includes one bedroom, one bath, in-law suite. Seller deeded the property subject to existing mortgage balance. Didn't care about credit. Didn't even care if the house went into foreclosure. So that was three houses, one day. And guess what? $30 out of his pocket got him $80,000 in equity and the opportunity to make cash flow off of all those properties on an ongoing basis. The, exactly the way I'm teaching you how to do this and providing the documents to do this with. So not only does this work on your own property, not only does this work on your parents' property, not only does this work for your vehicle and your bank account, it also works by buying investment properties as well and not having to go to the bank and not having to qualify for a loan. If that's not a yeah, baby, I don't know what is yeah, baby. All right. So let the paperwork do the negotiating for you. I provide you with my paperwork so that when you're working with the seller, yes, uh, that you're able to just let the paperwork do the work because I've got subject to built right into the contract, the purchase and sale agreement that I give you. So ask yourself, can any of those horrible things happen to you? Could I be forced to throw away millions of dollars? And the answer is absolutely. We're not guaranteed our next day. We don't know what might happen with any of our properties, even our own property. Somebody could slip and fall, get hurt at our own property. We've got to protect ourselves. Get everything out of your name is my advice. Is what I've done, is what I tell other people they ought to do uh, when I'm giving people, family members, everybody, nobody should have anything in your own name, period. Not in this country, that's for sure. All right, so back to Albert Einstein, intellectual solve problem. Geniuses prevent them. Now, do you have an office that looks like this? <laughs> I think I might have a solution for you. It's a typical entrepreneur's office. It's a big mess. And, and so uh, the, what I found out is that entrepreneurs don't like to do paperwork, that paperwork is not their favorite thing. They want to go out and slay the dragons and make the deals. Well, we've got this all put together. So I'm going to empower you to impact your life today. And the way we're going to do that is success is about having a system. Now this system, it will get you more money faster and safer. According to Michael Gerber, author of The E-Myth, a million people go into business each year. Within five years, 96% are out of business. So what do we got to do? We got to get smart. We, they have a system and you need a system too for your business. Question one, why this guy? Well, remember, there's a lot of folks that have studied under me. They use my system for their own personal use. They're not they don't have permission, they don't own the copyright to be able to share it with others, but they do use it in their own businesses. You know, I've gotten this one from uh, one of my students, bought your whole enchilada recent seminar, purchased my first home subject to the existing mortgage with no money down. I was halfway through your land trust course. My attorney reviewed your trust documents. As you suggested, he said they were the best real estate agreements he had ever seen. 
He also told me it would have cost me thousands of dollars for him to produce similar documentation that would have been nearly as thorough as yours. Despite your brilliant paperwork, I must admit the first transaction did not go as smoothly as I'd expected to my own lack of hands-on experience. Cannot thank you enough for quickly replying to late night pleas for help via the fax machine. Your help has proved invaluable. All right, guys, so that's what it is, is that we're not only here to provide you with the documents, we're here to provide you with support to help you through the process of learning this and implementing this in your life. See, the secret is the hidden fortunes come from my easy to implement systems and strategies that do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And that is the street smart way, baby. That's what we've got for you. And the opportunity for you to join many other folks that have built amazing multi-million dollar businesses doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. So it takes four T's to have a system. We were talking about the four P's of the trusts. Now it takes four T's to have a system. And that is tools, training, technology, and team. Uh, coaching and mentoring. So we're going to support you in all four of those today by taking advantage of this and putting this into your life, putting this to work so that you can have the benefits that come from this. Now, what is this? This is a patchwork quilt. And this is to show you that a lot of people have businesses that look like that, where they've taken an idea from here and a concept from there and a form from another place, and they've tried to cobble that together into a business and they've made their business look like a patchwork quilt. So my hope is that we're gonna get you out of that and we're gonna get you into a system. So first you need the tools. Now, what are the tools in my world? They are the land trust and it's a full guidebook that has all the documents in it, the step-by-step -step processes and procedures, the personal property trust as well. So each of these guidebooks is designed to step you through exactly what it takes to do this. Now we're including that today and let me just share with you how it's designed. So we start with a cover sheet or excuse me, we start with an information worksheet. This information worksheet asks you questions all the way through and these questions are designed to have you think because I'm actually going to step you through each one of these things. Now, once you do uh, each one of these, you're gonna have questions about that question. And guess what I've done? I've taken that question and I have given you the answer. So I've annotated each one of the questions with an answer. And those annotated answers are to help you, uh, support you through actually implementing this. Now, now these are cover sheets. Now, one of the things I've done is that each one of the documents and the way the system is designed is that the first form you come to is the first one you use. And the second form you come to is the second form you use. And what I've done is on each one of these forms, I've provided a cover sheet that explains who gets an original, who gets a duplicate, does it get recorded? Where does it get recorded? All the important things about the system is right there. You see what happened for, for in my life is that my wife, Janice, was one of the people that really told me how to design this system because I went to her, we were young in our business and I'd started accumulating properties and I'd learned about these trusts and I needed some help. I said, honey, can you help me out? She says, what do you want me to do? She, I said, I want you to do the book work and the paperwork. She says, well, let, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have ADD, I have dyslexia, and I have a learning disability in math and symbols. What do you want me to do? I said, remember the book work and the paperwork. And she said, well, I can, but you can't tell me. She said, you got to show me. She said, you got to give me a filled in version and a blank version. You got to give me a cover sheet that explains it. Who gets an original? Who gets a duplicate? Does it get recorded? Where does it get recorded? And you got to stack them. The first one I come to is the first one I use. The second one I come to is the second one you use. And boom, that's exactly how I designed my system. And it's got a table of contents that steps you through. And literally each document is designed to step you through and support you in the process. 
So I've given you a checklist. Did you know that every time a pilot gets in a plane, they go through a checklist? Even if they just were in the plane an hour before, they go through a checklist. You need a checklist too. So I've provided to you exactly what to do, exactly how to do it. Now, I've taken all of that and I've put it into a scenario so you can watch Mary Livingwell and her trustee, James Good Guy, go all the way through the system in implementing the system. Now, have you ever gotten a blank document and you had no idea what went in the blank lines? Well, what I've done for you here is I've taken that scenario and I've filled out and given you a blank and a filled in version of every one of the documents to really make it very clear. Because let me tell you something, folks, we're talking about your money. This is something you should not leave to somebody else. This is something you need to learn yourself. You need to do this yourself, regardless of hiring a professional. I'm not telling you not to hire a professional. I'm telling you that you need to understand where the bones are buried and certain family members need to understand where the bones are buried because you're about to do something very powerful for yourself and your future. And it's very important that you understand this process yourself. Now, by the way, these are copyrighted materials protected by strict copyright law. You have the right to use these for yourself and your parents and your children. In other words, lineage. You cannot use this for your brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunts, friends, anybody else. This is your system for you. And so what happens is that you become a licensee of the system. We give you the documents and everything. We give you, you are purchasing the license to use these for yourself and your family. So you are going to be registered as a licensee of these documents for yourself and your family. Now, second, you need the technology. So the technology is to help you in the digital process of opening these documents on your computer. Boom, you'll be able to take these documents, you'll be able to open them up, and the street smart forms come right up on your computer. You open it up and there's all your documents. You open that up and boom, they're all in line. You open up that document and you're able to see and fill out, just highlight the blank line, type in the, the name, boom, we're off to the races. So that's the land trust and personal property trust. Now I've got a series of eight hours of CDs to step you through the process. By the way, we've got these in MP4s too. I've got this whole thing so that you can get wired in and get everything you need right away. Now, on these CDs, I've also created tracks. Uh, so the track tells you what's on that CD so you don't have to listen to the entire series when you're just trying to get a piece of information. So what I've done is provide that to you so that you can go and find that uh, particular CD and find that track and have all the information you need. I give you the forms disc, I give you the eight hours of CDs. By the way, this is a powerful thing to be able to get your parents on board to do this too, because it, sometimes we, we, we want our parents to do something and they have a hard time listening to us because they remember that they changed our diapers and they and that we talked back to them when we were a kid. So uh, what you want to do with your parents is say to them, uh, mom, dad, I need your advice. I want to see what you think about this. This is what I'm doing with my family and with our assets. And I want to see if you think this is a good idea. And then, and then of course you get them to listen to the CDs and they're gonna say, absolutely, I think it's a great idea. And you say, well, guess what? I can do that for you too. And now what did I do? I just helped you because when your parents place their assets into trust, guess what? You're not gonna have to go through the pain and suffering of probate, a very powerful thing that can help you in your future as well. And you will not burden your family with probate because you've already taken this step and put your assets into trust. So third, you need the training. Now the training is coming up. That's the three day millionaire jumpstart where I'm going to take you soup to nuts 
through an entire business model of real estate, buying right, buying cheap, all the way through to protecting all that you create. Now, there you're going to learn and do your own business plan. Who thinks they need a business plan? Everybody knows that they need a business plan. Who's done one? Almost nobody. Why? Because they don't know how to do it. So we're going to do your business plan in class. Number two, you're going to understand contracts. Number three, you're going to understand trusts. Number four, you're going to understand short sales and how we can get discounts with banks. Number five, you're going to understand what to hold and what to sell. Number six, you're going to learn how to raise money at 4% interest only and no payments. How cool is that? So I'm going to take you through some very powerful things in addition to trusts that are going to help you in your business, in your future, whether you have any interest in real estate or not, you're going to get a lot of powerful information there as well. I'll just share you another case study right quick. Bought your whole enchiladas, Las Vegas in two months. I got the deed on seven houses, closed them all myself with your forms. I'm keeping two, rehabbing one, have four on the block for sale. Your course is great and fills in the gaps of some other people's courses. My lawyer was impressed with your forms too. <laughs> so that just goes to show you that there's so many folks that have taken advantage of what we're doing for you. Now, the Millionaire Jumpstart is coming up. And remember, you're going to learn how to buy, sell, and rent property. Now, you're going to get a special thing. This says two days. No, it's three days. Now, for the entitlement certificate, we made it into a three-day training. So this is included for all of you who are taking advantage of this today. Fourth, you need the team. Now, what we're going to do for you is something really great. Tele-training with Lou. It's a group Q&A. It's monthly. No, we've changed it. It's now weekly. So now you get a chance to come on board every Sunday night, 9 p.m., and ask any questions you have. So while you're going through the process of implementing and putting your trust in place and any questions you have, you now have a place to go ask those questions. And do you learn from other people's questions? Of course you do. So you have a chance to learn from other people as well on that Sunday night call. This is an extra bonus I'm doing for you. So here's what we're doing for you. You can get the land trust just by itself. It's $899.95. Now you can get the personal property trust by itself. It's $899.95. Now we're giving you the eight audio CDs, value $299 just for me explaining step by step all the details about the trusts and how to fill out the paperwork. Very powerful. That's a bonus. Plus you're getting the forms disc that has all the documents in digital format. That's a bonus. And you're getting the group Q and A that says monthly. Nope. It's weekly. And uh, we're giving you that as a bonus as well. So not only are you getting that, you're getting uh, not one, but two tickets to the upcoming uh, Millionaire Jumpstart. And that's a bonus as well. So it's a really great value, folks. Um, and $17.99, it's over $5,000 worth of value, but I'm gonna throw some more things in there, like an extra bonus, how to set up your trust bank account, $500 value, that's a bonus and how to work with your spouse without killing them. Because <laughs> many of you are like my wife and I, Janice and I have been together uh, 38 years now and it's, it's been a great relationship. And you know what? Uh, she's been along with me all along the way and she works with me in the business. And I wanna teach you how we are able to work together, stay out of each other's way and create a very powerful business. And you can too. So I'm gonna give you that as a bonus as well. Wow, that's a lot of bonuses that I'm giving you. You better believe it. And it's, it's a very great thing. Over $5,700 worth of bonuses. And I'm gonna do a very special deal for all of you today. Now, all of you today, $17.99.90, all of you today, we're going to do something very powerful and special. Now, is it worth it? Well, one deal will make you back more than the cost, much more. One deal will make you back more than the cost, much more. What would an attorney charge for just one 
trust. Now think about that. What would your attorney, what would any attorney charge you for one trust? Well, first of all, they got to know about land trusts, which most of them do not. Secondly, they got to have the right paperwork, which most of them do not. Like I told you, there's many of them that were attorney prepared trusts that have about 12 different things that are missing in them. And then there's Stefan, $80,000 on three subject to deals in one day. Was that worth it? You better believe it. One lawsuit avoided will make it all back. One lawsuit avoided will make it all back. Is that a yeah, baby? So this is satisfaction guaranteed. We're going to make sure that you're absolutely happy with your purchase. And it's something that means a lot to me. We are very diligent in supporting our licensees and we want to make sure this is of high value to you and that absolutely you implement what I'm sharing with you. Now, is this tax deductible? Yes. And we even include in your package a full tax deduction explanation of being able to take this as a write-off. And I'm going to do something very special for you because you joined me today. Uh, not only, I told you, wait till the end, I'm going to give away not only one, but two tickets to the Millionaire Jumpstart. But I didn't tell you this part. I'm going to give you a special travel allowance. And this is something very powerful. We're giving you $200 additional savings. This is a special scholarship grant for the first five that go, go to your box right there and say, yeah, baby, I want it. Yeah, baby, I want it. And uh, the first five of you that take advantage of this, you're going to get an additional $200 off. So that's going to bring it down to $15.99. Now that's going to include land trusts, personal property trusts, both complete systems, regular $17.99, save $200 today, final investment $15.99. What a bargain. You're getting both guidebooks. You're getting eight hours of CDs. You're getting the forms disc with all of the digital documents on there. And here's another thing I'm doing for you too. All of you who joined me today, go to MaximumAssetShield.com forward slash book. I'm going to give you a special book. But, but first, we got to get you taken care of. So the slide that didn't show up here is the slide to on what to do how to do it. How are you going to get your system today? You're going to call 1-800-578-8580. Uh, that's 1-800-578-8580. Uh, and we're going to actually type that in. Uh, let's see here if I can get it into your box here. Boom. 1-800-578-8580. Eight zero uh, to get yours uh, because of the special extra bonus that I just give you. You do have to call in and say, I am uh, ordering the trust system and I want my extra $200 off making the uh, total $15.99. $15.99. Uh, yeah, baby. I see it there. Uh, and so more, more, <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it. Uh, does this work for commercial property and multifamily apartments? Uh, ready, absolutely, it works for uh, any kind of real estate. If it has a legal description, it works <laughs> for any type of real estate. You know, earlier I was showing you a development on land. I showed you a, a apartment building. I showed you an, uh, a hotel. All of that are projects that we did and all of those were in trust. In fact, with our hotel, it was not only purchased by a trust, it was managed by a different trust. And that's one of the things I'm going to be teaching you is that you will become a manager instead of an owner. In fact, there's a letter included in your land trust that's going to actually be something you give to your tenants that says, I no longer own the property. However, I'm going to remain on as the manager for an indefinite period of time. The new owners have some new paperwork they want me to go over with you. And in walks your new standard rental agreement. I've got so much to teach you. This is great stuff. And I'm going to be supporting you. Remember, every Sunday night, we're going to give you an opportunity to ask questions. Uh, you can send them during the week as well. 
we just want to make sure that we've got a standard place that you can go anytime that you have questions and we've always got lots of licensees on there every Sunday night so you're welcome to join us you're going to be getting a special bonus uh, email from me after you join and become a licensee we're going to be shipping you your land trust your personal property trust we're going to be shipping you the eight uh, CDs or you can get them as MP threes and we've got the documents as well we're going to be shipping all that to you the the digital documents and uh, we're going to also give you a link to the Sunday night call so you can register for that and I'm going to be giving you another bonus uh, and all those other bonuses that I showed you on the sheet so this is very important great yeah baby ready says okay well ready you welcome aboard welcome aboard glad you're joining us tonight uh and robert and colleen and you great you guys are great and i'm glad i was able to give you this value today because it's so important that you do join us now just call 1-800-578-8580 and there's a lot of additional information for you there don't forget that this is going to include everything that you need remember there's a cover sheet that explains it who gets an original who gets a duplicate there's step-by-step -step process and everything that you need is built into the system so that's why i wanted to make sure that you knew about this and yes there's even a special download that i've got for you my my little mini book maximumassetshield.com forward slash book MaximumAssetShield.com forward slash book. Everyone who stayed on board with me this evening, you are getting an extra bonus with this book. So uh, I just have loved being on here today and sharing with you one of the most powerful things I've ever learned in my life. And I'm so glad that I learned it so early on and I've been able to use it all these years and decades. And I can tell you after not only using it myself, but also sharing it with other people, I've heard many, 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 many stories about how this has impacted people's lives and protected them and helped them. And I want to help you as well. So be sure and join us 1-800-578-8580. That's 1-800-578-8580. Don't be left out. Yeah, baby. I will see you soon. Wow, that was fantastic. Man, that's a lot of stuff, Lou. <laughs> I know. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. And, uh, and you know, I just want to give people as much information as I can because I know how powerful and how beneficial this is. You know, sometimes people don't even know what they're looking at. It's like 100% new information. Most things we learn in life, we're we're adding on maybe 10% new information on top of what we already know. And then I come along with trust and it's like 100% new information. But people, when they see this and they realize the power of it, you know, you'll this is one of those things in life you'll never go back. This is something that you plug into your life and it becomes what you do and how you do it. And you don't take no for an answer. This is exactly, once you understand the benefits of it, you're not going to turn away from it. No, that totally makes sense because, I mean, I think everybody in every town across the United States has got some of those lawyers, the ones who run the commercials all the time, where it's like, <laughs> you know, somebody does you, does you wrong, contact us, and we'll get you money. I mean, every time I see one of those commercials, I just absolutely cringe. So I can certainly see why, you know, knowing uh, how the trust work and putting those into place to protect your assets, man, that's just critical, if nothing else, just to be able to sleep at night. Well, you know, it's funny thing you should mention about those those attorneys. You know, uh, oh, what was that? Uh, the one that did it on uh, on Netflix, uh, Better Call Saul, and yeah. he was on Breaking Bad and all that stuff. And uh, and that's just a great example of an attorney who learns the system and uses the system to uh, his client's advantage, right? Mm -hmm. So. There are plenty of people out there that don't want to do what you did to get what you got. They just want what you got. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and so they want to take some shortcuts 
And those kind of attorneys are definitely the ones that will do it. And hey, attorneys are taught in school, you, you need to be able to argue both sides of the argument, not one side of the argument, both sides of the argument so that you can win. And, uh, you know, it's a funny thing I've heard attorneys talk about. 50% of the cases they thought they should have won, they lost. And 50% of the cases they thought they should have lost, they won. <laughs> so, so going to court is an absolute crapshoot. And that's why I teach people, look, don't buy your property, or excuse me, don't tarry with this. Don't fool around with this because the idea is to avoid lawsuits, not to defend lawsuits, to avoid lawsuits. And when people see that the property is owned by trust, well, they know that they don't know what they don't know. And they don't know who the beneficiary is. They don't know how deep this might go. They don't know how much it might cost or how long it will take. And they have to advise their client of that. So that's another benefit that people get when they take this extra step of moving their property and trust. They really are setting themselves up for success. No, and that just totally makes sense. I, I think one of the biggest components of it is just the peace of mind. You know, just being able to to put your head on the pillow at night and know that you can put the focus on doing what you need to do to have a successful business and not having to look over your shoulder or worry about the, you know, I'm at the intersection, I spilled some coffee in my lap and accidentally came off the brake for a second and lightly bumped somebody who jumps out and is like going, I'm calling, you know, that, that scummy lawyer on the TV and oh boy, here it goes. You know, because there's just so many, so many things out there when you just think about all the, you know, how many phone calls have you had in the last week? You know, someone claiming on a, a, a robocall that they're the IRS. And if you don't contact them immediately, we're going to get cash. What, what I'm saying is there's always somebody trying to get in your back pocket. So it's <laughs> like you're, you know, with the, with your discounts, you're at what, $1,500 on this, right? $1,599. Right. Yeah. So for all practical purposes, and I'm and I'm not a math major, but you know, you throw that in the calculator. It's a little over if you broke it down over a over the course of a year. You you pay for it over the course of a year and you own it forever. You know, it's a little over a hundred bucks a month to be able to sleep at night. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. You know, that's a good way to put it, Dave. The other way is to think about it from the point of view of let's say you had ten properties, uh, maybe two two of them are vehicles and you had five houses and you have a coin collection and a, and a gun collection, whatever it might be, you got 10 different uh, variety of assets. Well, that you look at it, that's only about 150 bucks per asset to put it into trust. And in the future, as you add assets, you're already going to have all the documentation to be able to purchase those directly into the trust. So it just makes sense for people to step out of their of their world and say, man, this is something that's valuable and beneficial to me and my family. And it's something that I should not bypass or avoid because it's something that can pay off forever. No, that just completely makes sense. And then you throw in your million dollar jumpstart, the, the three day event. Now, see, that's getting into some really some interesting real estate strategies if if i if i heard you right <laughs> so you know you're getting kind of really a, more than a twofer here plus all the stuff that's there because you're picking up some additional strategies that you can throw in your business well dave you're right about that you know the millionaire jumpstart is very powerful i've been teaching it now for goodness uh over 15 years and uh, i love it because it really is a way to show people how to buy right, how to buy cheap, and how to build an amazing multi-million dollar business. Uh, I am a big believer in cash flow. We started out with calling me the king of cash flow, right? So I'm a big believer in the buy and hold strategy and sell at the right time at the highest price. Well, we build in our residents as potential future homeowners and we set it up so that we can become the bank for them at some stage in their life when they've got enough down payment in and their credit is good enough, we literally become the bank for them and mm. just continue to receive the income forever, just like a mortgage company does. What could be better than that? 
No, that sounds great. So at the three-day event, I want to make sure that I'm getting this right. Not only are you going to be talking about the real estate strategies, but you're also going to be talking about the trust and, you know, how those two really kind of dovetail together. Is that right? Exactly right. And we're going to cover buying, holding, selling, and protecting all that you create. No, that's absolutely, that's a fantastic value right there. <laughs> It is. Well, that's why, you know, it's only $99 to attend it or you can upgrade to the VIP. And really, I, I just encourage people that when they come to it, they can really get not only the benefit of helping them to implement their trusts, but a bigger, uh, let's say, viewpoint on how to make money and how to make money the best way. No, that sounds fantastic. Uh, and I have to throw, I just have to throw one other thing in here because it's kind of funny. It's like, you know, I used to think it was a wonderful thing when we got away from the CDs and stuff because I was like, oh, hooray, one less thing on my bookshelf. Well, you know how many courses now I have lost online that I can't find the logins? <laughs> I can't find, you know, or, or even the, the, the outfit that sold it to me. They're no longer in business anymore. I, I paid for it and I no longer can access it. I, I mean, kudos for you for giving a physical product that you can, no matter what happens to Lou, you've got those resources. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Dave, because you're like me. <laughs> I've had the same thing happen. I said, listen, people are asking for the MP3s, so I'm going to make those available, but I'm going to keep the CDs too, because people are like me. They want to be able to reference those things, and just about everybody's got one, or for $6, you can go to Fry's and buy an external uh, player, uh, so it's it's pretty easy to be able to play them right on your uh, computer. Yeah, because everybody's got one somewhere, you know. But but I bring that up because it was just so funny. Because last week I had a little bit of downtime and I was looking for a course I bought about a year and a half ago, and I still can't find that stupid thing. <laughs> and if I would have had the CDs or DVDs or whatever, I could have threw them in and gotten through the content I wanted to get through. So. Uh, you know, like, again, kudos for you for doing that. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The physical product is still very important uh, for a lot of people. And I think it makes sense because, you know, I call it a guidebook because it literally guides you through. You can open it up. You, you're you looking at the document. You're looking at your computer. You're looking over at the document. You're seeing what to put where. You're looking at your computer. You're highlighting the blank line. You're typing it in. It's literally guiding you through the entire process. Yeah, and that's that's the whole thing about any sort of education is anything is easy once you know how. And if you're walking them through the process, you do that a couple times, you're going to have that thing just down cold. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Good plan. Well, you know, I, I love sharing this with people because I just know the importance that families need to do this. And it's just not the the person that I'm talking to, but I'm talking to that whole family too, their, their upline, their parents, their grandparents even, if their grandparents are still living, all of those assets should be placed in trust. Even the smallest, you know, if they own just their own home, if they own vehicles, a bank account, these are all important things that should be in trust. And then guess what? I lived this uh, when my stepfather, my mother got married after I, uh, we moved from Charlotte to Atlanta, and when my mother got married, uh, he passed away, and uh, his house and everything, we moved that into trust before he passed away, and my mom lived there for another five years, and God rest her soul, she passed away. Well, guess what? The property was in trust. I was the trustee, but I was the successor beneficiary. She, she was the beneficiary, but at her death, it devolved to me as the successor beneficiary. Well, now I was able to put that property on the market immediately. I was able to sell that property. I never had to file and spend a minute in the probate process, never had to go to the courthouse, never had to hire an attorney, never had to get a judge, never had any delay whatsoever in selling that property simply because it was already in trust. So I've lived it myself and I know just how wonderfully beneficial that was. 
It was powerful. It's something everybody should do. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family to take those steps because they're going to love you for it. They're going to thank you for it. Even though you're passed away, they're going to thank you for it. No, that just makes complete sense. Hey, can you put up on the screen one more time the uh, website on where people need to go to be able to get involved? Yes, absolutely. And also and, kind of tell us that phone number one more time too. And that, that number is one 800 Five seven eight eight five eight zero. I typed it in the question box, and it's one eight hundred five seven eight eight five eight zero. Now, interestingly enough, I didn't make a slide, so I'm going to do that right now. Uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, just add that on there. There we go. All righty. Fantastic. Well, Blue, we really appreciate you being here and teaching all this that you have tonight. I know you, you know, time doesn't allow you to go into a lot of detail, so you're scratching the surface, but you know, it's it's kind of the way I view it is what with what everything you have that you're offering, everything that you need to know is right there and uh, makes total, total sense. Uh, well, that's we the reason there's eight hours of, of uh, audio uh, for people to listen to. I call it the rolling university, but it's literally going to take you through the entire process. I go deeper into the naming strategies of the trust. I go deeper into who to use as trustee. I go deeper into financing and the land trust, the, the insurance, changing over the insurance to the name of the trust. I go over the uh, homestead exemption and how you can keep your homestead exemption. I go over, over all of that on the CDs and literally take you document by document verbally so you can hear what to fill in and how to fill it in. No, that's absolutely fantastic. You know, I love it. I love it. Uh, before we close the webinar out, do you have any final words for the folks? Well, I just, just really love the fact that I have been given a gift of being able to teach and hopefully I've been able to teach you tonight. Hopefully I've been able to open up your thoughts, your insights into what's possible in your life and the, the need for doing this and the importance of doing this now. Hopefully I've been able to convey that message to you. There's a lot of bad actors out there in the world and I just want you to know that I want as much as I possibly can to help protect you from those bad actors and anybody that might want what you've got and doesn't want to do what you did to get what you got. Hopefully uh, this has been very helpful to you, eye-opening, and that you'll take action and you'll do something about it. That's all I care about is that you take action and uh, get your assets moved and we want to be a part of helping you as much as we possibly can. Thanks, Dave. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lou. There you go, folks. Last call, 1-800-578-8580. Go ahead and get involved. And uh, I think you'll, if you do so, you're going to find you're going to be able to sleep a whole lot better. Okay. Well, this is Dave Gallagher with Lou Brown. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Good night. Yeah, baby. Good luck, good health, and may God bless. Good day.